Evening everybody, Rich here, back for part 5 of this RMS Maritania tutorial. Uh, today's focus will be the top deck houses of the ship's superstructure, i.e. Uh, skylights and glass domes and all those sorts of things, uh, windows along the sides in front of the superstructure, forecastle deck details and maybe the masts as well, but we'll uh, see as we go along and what time I get, so uh, that's, that's my main focus for today. Right, so first of all, we're going to fly over to the uh, boat deck first and uh, show that I've added the doors and windows to that area there, so the windows and doors are along the side there. Once again though, it's just my usual basic design, five windows, doors, five windows, doors, five windows, doors all the way along, and across the back as well, so it's it's the usual shit, you know. But if you want to use deck plans and things for the real layout, then by all means do so. Remember, mine's just a rough guide. Um, I've also added windows around the front of the uh, area under the bridge as well, so you've got the bridge up there, you've got the windows around the curved front, down the front there. So that's that job there. Uh, so now what I'm going to do is do the windows along the front uh, of the deck below and down the sides as well. So we're going to use our glass blocks, pardon me, and then add a few windows. These are single windows as well, so they're only one block high. So I'll add three across the front and then one or two down the side. So you see three along the front, one, 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 and then down the sides. Uh, just trying to think how this goes. So it's sort of third block up on the white and then sort of one, two, three along, and we add pairs of windows, so you've got a pair there, and then a four block gap, so one, two, three, four, and then a window, or we'll make it a five gap if you want to, it's up to you, because you've, <laughs> you've got a space there, so it's a pair of windows, four block gap, and then a pair of windows, and then a four block gap again, and then another pair of windows, then one, two, three, four, and then another pair of windows, one, two, three, four, and then another pair of windows. You get the rough idea where this is going. One, two, three, four, and a pair of windows. One, two, three, four, and a pair of windows. One, two, three, four, and a pair of windows. One, two, three, four, pair of windows. One, two, three, four, and we'll put a single window because there's not enough room for a pair. So there we go. There's the uh, windows along the sides. I know it's not strictly accurate to the real thing. But I just put it in pairs anyway because it's how how I think it should look. In my opinion, it always matter. All right, so there we go. There's the windows down the side. I should do a quick copy paste to the other side just to get that out of the way. So copy the windows around to the front, and then just copy, flip, paste, done. So copy to that. Or just you copy, flip to the right or left, whichever, and then paste. And there we go, there's the windows down that side. And that's that little jobby done there. So there we go, that's, that's that one done. Right, so now what we're going to do now is go to the top of the superstructure and go behind the bridge. You've got the bridge wheelhouse here. I'll go behind it. And I'll put a coloured block in to mark the centre, which is that one. I'll just make sure it looks central, but I'll check it anyway. So it's seven that way, and seven that way. So that's the centre line there. So on the deck, of the, of the wheelhouse, I want to leave a 24 block gap, so on the wood, on the centre block, first block, I want to leave a 24 block gap, that's 22, 23, 24, so 24 block gap, so I'll put a block there, and then what we want to do is go 3 to the side, so 1, 2, 3, is it a 3 gap or 3 out, well, that's a three, 3 out nonetheless, and then we'll start building there, so I'll do the same to the side, 1, 2, 3, like so, and then get rid of the centre block like that. So these are two, or the beginnings of the skylights. So the skylights themselves are th uh, three blocks long, so two, three like that, and two blocks wide, like that. And then on the top we add uh, quartz stairs for the roof. So we use quartz stairs, so roof, 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 and roof, 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 like that. So that's the first skylight. And if you want to, in the middle one you can put glass or leave it bare or whatever. And do the same with the other one, so two long, no, three long, two wide, and then stairs for the roof, and stairs the other side, there we go. So that's those two like that. Uh, if you want to, you can make them further apart. I think I may have made them too close to each other, because I know on the prototype I measured it was either three apart, or three out, or four out, I can't remember, but you can make it one block further apart if you want to, but it's up to you. Um, you know, one block further that way, and one block further that way, but you know, like I said, up to you. Right, so that's the first pair. And then what we want to do is leave a 12 block gap. So I'll go from the from the left one and the 12 block gap. So that's the first block. 
So that's 9, 10, 11, 12. And on the 13th block, we build the same again. So another pair, like so. So that's one sky like there. And oh, blank there. So I'll do the same again the other side. So 12 gap again. So that's 1, 11, 12. And on the 13th block, we'll do the same again. So three long, two wide, stair, 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 and stair, stair, stair. So there we go. That's those four skylights done. And I'll just double check on my prototype, actually. I think I may have made them one block further apart. There's no big issue if we did or didn't, because it's it's optional. But, oh no, they're fine. They're the same. That's all right, then. Okay. No big deal there. Okie dokie dokie do. Right, so that's the, uh, the skylights done, anyway. And I'll just fly over to do the other thing. I'm just going to do a quick jump. Well, not a jump cam. I'm just going to pause the video a second. I think it may be lagging, so bear with me. Well, I thought it was lagging, but it's not too bad. Anyway, from there, what we're going to do is go from the centre block between the two uh, back end skylights. So the centre block is there. And I'll go from this block here, which is one back from the uh, one back from the uh, line of the uh, what's it? And what we're going to do is add a or make a 24 block gap. So or count 24 blocks back. So that's the first block there. And I just want to do another 24 block gap, and that is 19, 20, 21, 22. 23, 24, and on the 25th block, we'll start building. So on the 25th block is what we build next is uh, a glass skylight or glass sort of dome thing. So it's uh, nine wide. So one, two, three, four that way, and one, two, three, four that way. And then what we want for the sides are uh, 14. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Same the other side. Make it 14, like so, and then join them together across the back. And then make them two blocks high, so double it in height. Like so, and then what we do for the roof, we add uh, two or a pair of stairs for the sort of struts, basically. So I have stairs. And a block behind, and then stairs on top of that. So it's two stairs high like that. And we do the same all the way along the side. I do the left hand side, and then I do the copy paste. So I still want the first stairs, and a block behind for support. And then the next stairs, like so. So you've got those sort of design like that. And then, um, well, I do the same the other side basically. So stairs, 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 stairs stairs and stairs and then the support blocks behind and then the stairs on top so you've got uh, two struts like that or two sets like that and then a block a line of blocks across joining each strut together like so so you're basically central beams basically creating a sort of a rib cage like so and the final one like so and then fill in the gap here and then what we want to do is just build a central pillar along the middle like so and that's pretty much it and just add or fill in that gap there and there we go and if you want to add glass by all means do so but it will look a bit weird when there's no stair glass or glass stair so we'll just add glass where we can and it won't look too bad in theory remember there's always two ways of life there's the theory and there's the reality the reality always wins apparently right, so there we go. there's the stairs and the glass added that side and do the same the other side I think in my honest opinion darker glass would be better I'm just using uh, the normal glass blocks but I think you could use black glass it might look a bit better so I think what I'd do, I'd do a jump cut later on with the glass turned black. So, actually, I thought, where did you to get the black glass from? There. All right, black stained glass. I'll just try one as a, as a demo. So, I'll just remove that one. And it doesn't look too bad. But I think it looked probably, probably a bit too modern. So, I think we'll just go for the normal glass. Like so. No, yeah, that'd do, wouldn't it? All right, so. Uh, that's how you want to do it but uh, if you want to make this more realistic so if we just pop inside here 
you want to make this more realistic for the for the deck below, you can remove all the wood blocks inside here because it uh, the glass dome really affects the deck below rather than the deck that we're on. So we just remove this whole inside. Like I said, there's only an option if you if you're going for the full the full SP on it, then you're going to want to. Uh, I'm going to go for the uh, realistic design and do this. So remove, remove all the blocks inside and then remove the blocks underneath the walls just to create a rim. And then replace the blocks which are not meant to be removed. Like so. And then we add the white blocks underneath the walls. And fix the walls that are <laughs> removed. And there we go, that's that area done. So when you're down here on the boat deck, you look up and you've got a nice skylight. I think it should be a glass dome, but I'm not entirely sure on the um, on the greyhounds. I think I don't know if they had uh, glass domes or not, whether it's just sort of a weather cover like that. But, you know, it's up to you how you want to interpret it. I'm going to find a way out now, so I'm going to go out this door here. Always handy. Go when you walk out that door, it's like being in port, isn't it? you got a ship over there ships over the, well I did have a ship over there uh, anyway that's the uh, the, fir <laughs> the first glass dome done so that was that one um, I'm just going to check my notes because I've forgotten what the hell I'm supposed to be doing um, right so what we're going to do now is go to the back wall of this glass dome we just built and now leave a single block gap so a single wood block and move to the next one and then we're going to build a wall which is 13 blocks wide so that's the centre block and then we want uh, six other sides there. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, like that, and then four for the sides. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and then build them across the back like that. So you've got a rectangle there, and then you're going to want to make this um, four blocks high. So I'll just increase it in height to four high. So I use world edit for this. Use the wooden X. So you set uh, quartz, same this way, and same the other way, and there you get all increased in heights to four blocks high, and then we just add the roof, which is the same again, just wood, uh, white blocks, and there we go, that's that little job done there, so that's that all sorted out. Um, then what we're going to do is go down to the centre block of that uh, back wall here. So this back wall here, centre block is here. And from the first wood block we're going to leave another gap. Uh, which is 26 blocks. So that's the first block. And we're going to leave a 26 block gap. So that's 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. And on the 27th block we start building again. So that's the centre block. Um, and it's going to be nine wide again, so one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four that way. Is that nine? I can't remember. Uh, yep, that's nine wide, so there we go. So it's, what we're building now is the same design, I think. So it's nine wide, size 14. Yes, yeah, the same design as before, so uh, we'll do the same thing. So the nine wide, the sides are 14. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and then do the same the other side and then the same around again and then increase the heights to two blocks high and there and then down the other side down the back there and there we go that's that increased in height and then the same as before it's exactly the same design we just add the stairs I just do the the, the, the usual gubbins I just use the stairs and the glass I won't do any of the inside business so if you want to do the uh, the floor again remove the floor then by all means I should do that later on I'll just do the basics for now um, do the same the other side Go and then once again, each struts 
along the centre, well, along between each pillar rather, between each stair set, sorry. And then the final section. And finally, the centre bee. Centerpiece, oh, like so. Oh, and the glass as well. But like I say, it's exactly the same design as the one we done earlier, so you can probably just skip this. So might as well do it on camera. It saves me cheating my way around. And there we go. That's the last one. So yeah, that's the. Uh, second glass dome done uh, and then what we want to do is go to the back wall of that and I'm trying to think I think it is a, a much larger gap now so from the back wall of this section here on the wood again so centre block we're going to leave a 44 block gap so 4 4 blocks so that's the first and we go along that's 21 a bit further that's 37 that's 41 42 43 44 and then on the 45th block, we we'll start again. So 45th block, we build this wall uh, 13 wide. So it's is it 13? Oh no, seven wide. Sorry, so it's one, two, three, and one, two, three. So it's it's seven wide. And then the sides are 13. Is that right? I just go double check this. I don't, <laughs> I don't want to screw this up. So I think it's I think it's meant to be 14. But uh, we'll see when we get there. So, this, so, so it's basically another glass deck, another glass dome, but it's slightly smaller. So I just do the sides. The sides are 12, sorry. So the sides are 12. So the front is 9. No, the front is 7. Sides are 12. And they should go up to the edge of the deck. So we'll just add the, uh, the 12. So uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. <laughs> Okay, make it one block further forward then. So make it a 43 block gap. Got to hate miscalculations, right? So we'll make it 43 block gap, and then the sides are 12, right? Do the same near the side, and then across the back. So you can see the back end is on the edge of that deck there, or at the edge of the uh, raised deck anyway. Because you got a, a one block gap, a one block drop to the back end here. Right. So now what we want to do is add the uh, stairs. Remember, this is only one block high, so you don't need to double it in height. Add the stairs, and then the blocks behind. So the stairs are still two blocks high, but the, uh, the rest of it isn't. So we'll add the stairs here as well. Stairs, 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 stairs. Block, 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 block. But pulling in the stairs all the way around. Oop, pardon me. And then, like before, if you want to, you can remove the floor inside. For the the glass dome, and there we go, and then add the beams across. And then the central uh, spine, if you like, like so. And then, of course, the glass blocks. So you only need two blocks this time. So a block there, a block there, a block there, block there, block there, block, 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 block. Block in our block. Same the other side. Like I say, this is a, this is a, sh a smaller deck house, and it shows. And filling that gap at the back there as well. All right, so there we go. That is those various deck houses done there, and the funnels will sort of fit in between each section, but we'll worry about them another day. Uh, I'm going to do a jump cut now because there's a bit of detailing I I've got to do. Well, a few more deck houses to go on that lower section, so I shall crack on and do that. And then uh, we'll move on to something else, so uh, back in a moment. Okay, back again. So what we're going to do is move on to the uh, lower section of the uh, upper superstructure. So just behind that last skylight here. Uh, so what we're going to do is on the sides uh, where the uh, deck drops, which is basically from this corner, we're going to add uh, a line of eight blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like that. And then eight inwards, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven back in like that. So it's eight and then eight in. Um, 
I think they're just one high, yep, just one high. And I do the same the other side. So eight again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They join across like that. So there we go, you've got two sections like that. Looks a bit suggestive from this angle, but there we go. And then what we want to do is add a pair of roofs. So it's sort of a, a, a pair of uh, pointy roofs, if you like. So I'll add uh, a block, a sort of stair block, and then a block, and then another stair block. And then forward of that, you want to add another stair block there, and then there, like that. So you've got uh, a triangle roof like that, and then another triangle roof forward of that. So there's a pair of triangle roofs. It's hard to explain, but once they're in place, you'll see. There you go. So you can see you've got a pair of triangle roofs like that, and they sit snugly on that uh, that side wall like that. And you just want to do the same thing all the way across the width of the building we just built, or the, the base of the building. Like so, and the same the other, or well, same with all of them really. And stair blocks are a real pain in the ass to add. They're so all different bloody directions. There we go. So that's one triangle roof there. So do, do the same this side. Or for the other triangle roof. Trying to get the right angle because there's things in the way now. See, upside down. Corner block. Oh, there we go. Right, so let's add cross length like that. And then the same with the next one up. So, and then the same with the forward edge. And there we go, there's the two what's it's. And there we go, just seal, seal off the gap. And there you go, you've got your two triangle shaped buildings, like that, or triangle roofs uh, shaped like that. And they should, I think in reality they were sort of glass domes again, like that, but they were smaller, but because of. Uh, limitations of Minecraft. I haven't got glass stairs so um, that's where you can come up, well all I can come up with anyways. But anyway that's the two triangle roofs and I'm just going to copy them to the other side just to save a bit of time so bear with me on this one. So I shall copy from there and then down to the centre block here. So I just copy and then flip to the right or left whichever and then paste. And there we go, that's both sides done, so that's <laughs> that little job done there. So we've got a pair of uh, triangle roofs. All right, so what we're going to do now is move to the back end of the uh, deck house, or the back end of the superstructure rather, so you get this back wall here. Find the centre block, which is this one here. And on the wood, we're going to leave a three block gap forward. So first block, second block, third block. So that's a third block, and on the fourth block, and uh, we'll build our deck house again. So it's, uh, how wide is this one? This one is uh, nine wide. So it's one, two, three, four that way, and one, two, three, four that way. And then the sides are four. One, two, three, four, like that. One, one, two, three, four, and then join across the back, like so. And then you want to increase it to two blocks high, all the way around. Like so, and then for the uh, the glass bit, which is well, not a glass bit, but the triangle bit, they're slightly different to what we've done. So we'll go from the side, put one there, and then one in the centre, and then one at the end. So you've got a three block gap between each stair set like that. And we'll add the blocks behind to double it up. So add another one there, there, and there. And then on the other side, we'll add stair blocks again with a three block gap between each. Just add stair blocks like so. So add a stair block there, there, and there. Block there, block there, block there, and then one across the center or a line across the center like that. And that's how that is. And then glass blocks inside like so. Once again, you know, the limitations of Minecraft really sort of ruin it, but uh, you know, it's how it sort of is. And did I remove the wrong one. And there we go. Just trying to think. I've, I know on the Titanic I did use another material. If I can find a darker colour set of stairs, uh, like I said, the was that nether brick stairs. Let's try them a minute. 
Um, because I did try this on the Titanic, so if we put nether brick stairs in instead. Mm, no, nah, it kind of looks a bit crappy. From a distance it looks alright, but when you're up close it, uh, it sort of ruins the illusion, so I think we'll just stick with the glass blocks inside. So it, it, even though you know it still looks shit either way, but there's not really much I can do. But hey ho, that's that. So that's that's a little job done there. So uh, that's that. And then what we want to do is on the corners of this deck, of this area of the deck, uh, back corner, got a corner block there, and we go one block in from the corner. So diagonally in from that block, we add uh, our vent. So a vent is three blocks high and then stairs on the top and then a block there and do the same the other side so diagonally in from the corner and we go one two three up stairs and then a block so you got two vents uh, there like that and then between uh, the two triangle or double triangle buildings we add a pair of vents as well um, got a center block there so one two off to the center go one one, two, three, and then one, one, two, three there. I'm just pl placing these ones at random in between. As long as they're in between the two uh, buildings like that, those two triangle buildings, then you've got the vents in the right place. So you've got three high there, and then uh, stairs on top, and then a block forward. And that's those two there like that. And then uh, the center block, no, not center block, but uh, the back, uh, triangle of each building. So you've got, you got the back set there. If we remove a, a block, remove a set of stairs there, and then put another vent in. So we go one, two, three, four up stairs, and then another vent, like so. And then do the same on the other one on the other side. So we remove that one. We go uh, one, two, three, was it three or four? We we'll go one, two, three, four up stairs, and then a block there, like that. So you got those vents in place there, and it should look something like that. Remember, the difference between theory and reality is that uh, reality always wins. But in theory, it should look like that, and that's pretty much that corner section or that this end section done anyway. So I shall get the handrails because that's what we need next, and we'll just add handrails around the edge just to uh, tidy this area up. So across the back there and then up the side. Like so, and that's our little job done there. And before we move on to anything else, we're going to add some cranes to the boat deck. So I'm going to go to well, I'll go to the right hand side. Makes it easier. So on the right hand side, on the boat deck level, from the back end, from the very back of the boat deck on this corner, we're going to leave a three block gap, so one, two, three. And on the fourth block, which is here, we add five, a row of five blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, like so. And then, and then another row, one, two, three, four, five, in like that. And then three, one, two, three, like that. So it's sort of a, a half crane base, if you like. So it's five, five, three, like that. And then for the crane body, uh, it's six high. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Like that, and the crane arm is seven. I should use uh, quartz slabs for this. So, for the crane arm, we go down one from the top and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like so. And then for the for the uh, joist underneath, we sort of need to uh, work this one out. So, we sort of di diagonally it down, like so. So, there we go. There's the crane arm and pulley underneath and then we add a bit of wood fencing underneath just to make it a little bit like it's got something hanging down a bit suggestive I know but oh, that didn't look right anyway <laughs> okay put a, sta a slab under there no that looks even gayer so I'll get rid of the end one get, get rid of the end block so make it six long and just add a bloody fence under there all right so there we go there's our crane added all right I'll do the same the other side all right okay so on the end, one, two, three, gap, and then one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, and then one, two, three, and on the centre, one, two, three, four, five, six, up, and then the arm, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then the 
bit underneath. Like so, and then the hangy downy bit, one, two like that. And there we go, there's the two cranes. All added there. And there will be another pair of cranes on the aft deck house, but we'll get to that another day. It's a good old big build, and as you can see, all that area there that we've got to build yet. Um, but yeah, that's our little job done. So that is pretty much it for there. So I'm going to do a jump cut and work out what to do next. I think we'll do the forecastle deck details, or should we leave that? I'm sort of pondering. Uh, well, well, I'll do a jump cut anyway, and if, uh, if I decide to do it, then we'll do that. But if not, we'll do something else. So I'll decide in the off cut, and uh, we'll see. So, um, yeah, I'll do a jump cut and I'll come back. So, uh, back in a moment. Okay, back again. Now, what we're going to do is the forecastle deck. So, what we're going to do, we're going to fly over to the front uh, wall of the superstructure and plonk down onto the forecastle, which is, of course is the front uh, of the ship, this front deck here, this triangle deck. Uh, we'll go to the front wall which is here and we're going to start by making, or not count, not making, but counting a four block gap. So one, two, three, four. And on the fifth block we'll build what I think is a small cargo hatch, but I can't be sure. But anyway, we'll make it uh, five wide. So two that way and two that way. And then, uh, what's the sides? The sides are three. So that's one, two, three and one, two, three. And then join them across the front like that. And then we use slabs to cover them up. So yeah, I think it is a cargo hatch, but I can't really be sure. So that's covered like that, and then we'll add a few more slabs across the middle. Like so, so we've got a little cargo hatch, I think, like that. So that's the first thing. And then what we want to do is to add a small mechanical device. I'm not sure what these are, but I think these are something to do with... Um, well, I think they're something to do with the ropes on the... Well, not the ropes, but the, uh, the cranes that uh, are on the uh, mast. I think they're just sort of the pulleys and things. So what we're going to do... Uh, we're going to add uh, from the, well, from from the Kaiser hatch. We'll add three blocks there, and then three blocks there like that. So in black, and then we'll add one, two, three, two, three, four that way, and one that way, like so to create this small thing. Which I think, yeah, I think the the cables uh, tie around it, and then they pull it taut and things like that. Pulls the cranes up and down. I think that's what it's for. Um, on the prototype, I put yellow blocks at the ends give it a bit more design so it's basically three at the bottom for a base three and three and then five across the middle like so so it's basically this whenever I say mech that's what it is right so what we're going to do now is leave a single block gap so from the center of the mech we add a, a gap there and then a block I start building on this block and this is where the first mast will go so I'll we'll, we'll just put a few blocks in first for the mast so I won't build the full mast, but that's where it will go anyway, so that is that there. So like I say, we'll add the mast properly later on, but that's where it will go uh, when it's added. Um, and then what we want to do is one gap, well, uh, one block forward, so one block gap forward, so one gap and then to there. So that's the centre block there. And then two out, so one, two out like that. Or is it, no, one, two. I'm going to double check this because I think I've written it down wrong, so bear with me on this one. And I can check the placement as well. <sighs> so we've got the mast, and then a single block gap, and then two, yeah, it was two out, so that's fine. Right, so what do I say? Yep. Yeah. So we've got one block gap forward of the mast, and then two out. Let me add one, two, three, one, and one there, there like that. So you create a C basically. This is offset from the centre of the mast, and the same the other side, so go one, two out that way. Let me add the C, like so. So you've got the mast there, and you've got the two C's, like that. So it's a one block gap forward, and then two out to the side. And these are where the anchor chains will connect, so put the anchor chains in this area here. And I shall use stone slabs for this, like I normally do. Now the anchor chains themselves, uh, 42 blocks long, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 40, 41, and 42, so it's 42 length for the chains, and then we add another C at the end like that, so that is that design there. Now if you don't want it to, um, 
to connect with the hull section there. You can just remove it and make that two blocks shorter. I mean, the, the length of the chain isn't really important. So I'll reduce it to 40, and then we'll put the C there like that so you can walk around it. And then we'll do the same on the other side. The same 40 or 42, whichever you want, but I'll do it 40. So I'll, I'll just build it freehand and measure it when I get to the end. Or line it up to the other side. So we'll do 40 down like that. So that's 40, and then we add the C around the edge like that. And that is the two anchor chains there. And then we go back to the mast. And then from the mast, we're going to leave a nine block gap. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And on the tenth block, we'll build. So what we're going to build here is um, a sort of, I think it's a staircase. So we'll build it three wide, like so. And then the sides are two, like so. And then um, from the block here, so I'll put another block there, so make it a sort of nine square. And then we're going to use uh, quartz slabs, uh, not quartz slabs, quartz stairs. And we build up, so one, one, one there. And then a block uh, other side there. And then more stairs. And then in the front, we just add three blocks of three blocks across like that. So you've got a sort of, I think I think it is a staircase. So you, you in theory, you would have the door there. And then you'd walk in and go down the stairs. But because it's so small in there, you probably won't be able to use it as a staircase. So, um... You can readjust it if you want to, make it a bit longer, a bit wider, a bit taller, or whatever, just to get a, a staircase in there. But I don't know. But at the back here, we can add another set of stairs across the back like that to make it uh, a full curve if you want. But yeah, you can put a door on the front as well if you want. So if we get a door and plonk it there, so that would give you an idea of where the staircase is. You open the door and then go down the stairs. But like I say, because it's such a, a cramped area. Um, it's, uh, there's no stairs available, but like I say, a bit more jiggling. You can make it a couple of blocks longer, and then you'll be able to get the uh, stairs in there, but we'll worry about that another time. But anyway, that's that device, or that building done there. And then what we want to do is leave a three block gap again, so one, two, three, and on the fourth block, we build a five wide wall. So this is, an, I think this is another cargo hatch. So it's uh, five wide, sides of three. So it's five wide, sides of three. And then join them together like that. Sides of three, yeah, <laughs> like that. And then we use quartz slabs, which I keep putting away. So where are they? Quartz slabs. There, so quartz slabs, once again, we'll add the top of the hatch. Like so, and then a central beam. Uh, slabs like so and there we go that's that cargo hatch done uh, and then what we want to do is leave a single block gap and then add another set of mechanical pieces so I add uh, one block gap and then we add three that side and three that side and then three across and then a yellow block on each end like that see so that little mechanical device there um, and then what we want to do is leave another two, uh, two block gap, so one, two, and we add another mechanical device, so another three blocks, three blocks, and then three, three across, plus a yellow block, and a yellow block, so you've got those two mechanical issues, uh, not issues, but mechanical gubbins there, and that's that done, and then what we want to do is move on and leave um, a six gap, so one, two, three, four, five, six, and on the seventh block in black, we'll build the anchor. Now the anchor is six blocks long, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, and then one, two, one there, and one, two, one there. So you got the anchor shaped like that. Or if you want to bring it back a couple of blocks, so bring it back two, and then you won't have the issue there. So make it if we, if we make the gap one, two, three, four, and then build the six. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six like that. And then you build two out and one, and then two out and one, and then you shouldn't have the issue of it connecting with the uh, the, the two uh, chain C's. Um, and also, I usually put a yellow band on the uh, anchor as well. So that's the anchor there. And on the prototype, I built a rail going up and over the, the anchor. So uh, 
basically at the end of the anchor they build two up, no three up sorry, and then three up again and then across like so. Now I don't know if this was actually on the real ship but I've seen it on models and I think about two or three of these models did have this so two up and across and two down like that so I can't see photographs of it but the models I saw did have it so it's an optional thing. I'm probably wrong uh, but you know it's it's a, you can change it if you want to. So that's the uh, anchor in that little thing there. And then what we're going to do is from the tip of the bow, we'll go to the tip of the wood area. So we'll go down. We'll go down to the the very end of the wood deck, and we'll remove nine blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, like so. And then diagonally down that way, like so. And then remove the rest in that gap. So like I said, it's nine from the end back, and then diagonally out. And then in that space, we'll use uh, light grey wool if I can find it. Where did you where did you get it? Oh, there it is. Light grey wool. And we'll just fill in this gap where the uh, wood blocks were. There we go. And if you want to, you can remove uh, these ones and put white blocks in to create a sort of border. Like so. So you've got that little area like that. And then uh, from the second block uh, forward on the grey, so from the back end we go one, two on the second block, we build the crane. Now the crane is five high, so one, two, three, four, five, like so. And then the arm is seven, so from the top we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like so. And then we build down diagonally to create the... Uh, Pulley area, so all the pulley uh, parts. So there we go. So da diagonally down like that, and uh, that is pretty much that. And then, then we use the uh, the wood fencing again for the dangly bit underneath. So down, 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 and down there like that. So there's the crane added there. So that is the central portion of the uh, folks all done. Um, I think what we're going to do now is add a few uh, windlasses. The windlasses are usually what uh, I think they're to do with the uh, the anchor chains, but they're to the side. So I think roughly halfway along the length of the chains. So I'm not going to say exactly where, but roughly halfway along, and then sort of one, two, three out from the chains, we add four blocks, and then using railway track, we'll add that to create a sort of a dial, well not a dial, but uh, a, a spinning uh, a, a wheel if you like, a turning wheel. And then from the end of the chain, the back end of the chains, we do the same thing again. So we go one, two, three, four out and go one, two, three, four like that. And then railway track again. And there's those two windlasses there. And then there's two vents, I think, which go either side of the mast. Uh, I think they're vents anyway, so if we go sort of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven out from the mast, so seven di uh, straight out from the mast, and then build up two, three, and one block there like that, and then do the same on the other side. So what was the gap? It was so seven, seven blocks out, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, and one back like that. So there we go, that's those vents done. So I'll just do the quick quickly do the vents on the other side. So one, two, three, four. Uh just quickly do the windlasses on the other side, so not the vents, but the windlasses there. And the other one further down. One, two, three. And add the railway track there. And I think that's pretty much most of it done. So what the next job I want to do is add the bollards. Now the bollards I use anvils and we'll put three pairs of these on either side so uh, roughly next to the uh, the end of the chains we put a pair of bollards there and then halfway down roughly we'll put another pair there and then towards the back end we'll put another pair just there in front of the superstructure so there's three pairs of bollards there and I do the same the other side so down to the end here we add bollard bollard 
bit further along we'll add a bollard and a bollard and then at the very back end we'll add another bollard and a bollard like so and that is virtually all the details for the folks so if there's anything to add later on I'll come back and do it but that is virtually all the detailing that I have jotted down so but like I said I will come back to it later on uh, if I need to um, and that is the folks all done like I said the mast will go on later on as well so I'll worry about that later on but the mast is in place or the placement of the mast is in place so don't need to worry about that and then the last job for the for the uh, forecastle is to add the handrails now we go to the back end of the uh, mast of the forecastle and we'll just add the handrails along the edge all the way along the side up to the front end down the side and up to there and there we go that's one side done the handrails added and we'll do the same the other side go from the front to back just add the handrails down to there there we go so that's the handrails all done there and pretty much like I say most of the folks are done I think my desk is starting to collapse uh, so that's most of the folks all done if there's anything more to add I will add it uh, as I want to get to it so that's our little job done one more job before we go is to add some stairs to the side of the superstructure so if we go uh, on the, along the boat deck so at the boat deck here we've got this set of staircases or this this staircase here anyway just behind the bridge wings and we're going to do the same thing a bit further along. So I'm just going to check my notes because I have got this written down. Um, bear with me on this one. Uh, right, so what we're going to do is go to the the bubbles along the side. Now if you know what I mean by the bubbles, it's these these bits that stick out the side of the uh, superstructure. So we've got the first pair of bubbles here along the side. This is going from the front to back. And what we're going to do is go from the back of the uh, first set of pillars and what we're going to do is go to the six box, so the, 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 the back pill, the back bubble here and we go uh, from this block here we go one two three four five six uh, make it seven eight nine and then we build out two and then remove that block there and then build out two in wood and then we get our stair blocks uh, like so the reason I moved it back a couple because I've got doors underneath <laughs> Uh, but it, it, it will depend on your doors. I mean, I've, I've built mine a bit further back than I than I uh, written it down. So I did say six. So I would say six, but it depends on your placements of your doors. So if your doors are say here, then move the stairs back a bit. But if your stairs are here, then move the, the stairs forward a bit. So it, it depends on that. But anyway, you build two out with the wood, and then you build the stairs down like so. Remember, these stairs are facing backwards, are facing the back of the ship. And then for the banisters, you build up two, 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 one, one there. And then blocks underneath for the understairs like that. So there we go, that's the first stairs there. And then for the next set of stairs, we go to the other bubbles. Got two bubbles further back. And then we go six back from, the, from that bubble. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we uh, build out two, so two, and then remove that block there build out two in wood and then down with the stairs so one two three four four five like so and then the banisters two up two up two up two up and two two or one one and then the st uh, blocks underneath the stairs and there we go that's those two sets of stairs like that and it should all look something like that so now you've got three sets of stairs Stairs at the bow, or stairs at the bridge, stairs halfway down, and stairs a bit further along. And uh, to just do the same thing on the other side as well. So I shall use copy paste to uh, cheat my way through this. So copy up to. Copy up to that point there. And I shall stand on this block here. Or stand a bit higher up now, I use copy. And then flip to the right. And then paste. And there we go, there's the stairs on that side. So that is that little jobby done. 
and uh, it shouldn't be too bad. So we've got plenty done today. We've got uh, stairs, the deck houses, deck houses down there, the forecastle, and all that. And that's pretty much it for part five. Now for part six, I'm still debating on what to do. So I'm, I, th I know we've got the deck house on the stern to do, so I think we'll focus on that for part six. Get that out of the way. Uh, and then for part seven, I think will be propellers, rudder, masts, uh, vents as well. And then hopefully the funnels at the end. So we shall see. <coughs> Pardon me. So that is pretty much it for part five, like I say. And then, like I say, part six will be all that. The deck house on the stern, that is priority. Um, and then we shall go from there. So this is Rich signing off, logging off and disappearing. And I shall return in part six. So uh, bye for now.